What's up guys, Dave here from Knives, Gadgets, and More, and today we're going to review a knife. Alright guys, so as you can see we have the CJRB Feldspar here, and just a little bit of background. CJRB is actually the sub-brand of another company called Artisan Cutlery. And Artisan Cutlery makes awesome knives. They're super sleek and they're also super high quality and they also cost a lot of money. The good thing about CJRB is you get some of that cool custom feel in a much, much more affordable knife. So because of that, I was really excited to, um, to order this knife and I think it's awesome. I'm really happy that I did. Now the first thing I want to talk about is the blade steel. The blade steel that you get is, let's see it right there, D2. D2 is a very, very good blade steel for an affordable knife. It's very strong and I think it's a tool steel. But anyway, it holds its edge really, really well. And just in general, getting D2 steel on an affordable knife is considered a desirable quality. So I really like that they did this knife in D2 steel. That's definitely a selling point for me. I think it's super cool. Another thing I really like is the blade shape. Now you've got kind of a classic looking drop point, but even though it is a classic shape, it, it has its own spin to it. It has kind of an elegance to it. And I think that's just a reflection of the parent company, Artisan Cutlery, again, putting their cool design into these affordable knives. So the blade shape looks awesome. I really like it. And it also performs really well. Now this one has a stonewash finish, which I really like the look of. I think it looks really cool. And I think it has a flat grind. Right out of the box, it was very sharp, or definitely sharp enough to use without having to sharpen it. And yeah, I just think it's a really cool blade shape. It looks great, it looks unique, but also classic at the same time. And I think it's really cool. Next, let's talk about the handle. Now the scales that come on this knife are made from G10, which is always a good choice in my opinion. I love G10 scales on these kind of everyday carry knives. Um, these ones, you can see they come in this kind of light gray, light blue color, which I think looks really cool and it's unique. I haven't, I haven't seen a lot of knives that have this color of scales. In fact, this, this is the only one I've seen with this color. And aside from the look of it, I really like how comfortable it is to hold. You can get a great grip on this knife and it's comfortable. You do feel the clip on this side when you're holding the knife, but it is still comfortable even with that clip there. And I don't really notice any sharp or hot spots as I'm holding the knife. No jimping there, that's okay. You don't really need it on a knife like this where it's just gonna handle light tasks and stuff like that. But um, the G10 feels great. And as I told you before, I really like the look of it and the color of this one that I got. But like I said, it comes in a bunch of different colors. I also like the little gold accent that you get. To me, it looks really cool. And uh, I don't know, gold, I'm not really, I'm usually not a fan of gold on knives or anything like that. I think it looks gaudy, but this, it looks really tastefully done and it, it accents the rest of the handle really, really well. So I think it looks great. All right, so next let's talk about the locking mechanism. So you can see right here that the blade is locked out and if you're not familiar with knives, then you can see here there's a little spring pushing up against the blade, locking it out. And that is called a liner lock. So to close the blade, you just push it to the side and close. And then to deploy the blade, you have thumb studs on both sides. You don't have a flipper on this knife. A flipper would have been cool. I like flippers, but the thumb studs are also good and you can simply flick it open. Or you can just pull it open if you want to, slowly. Either way, it's more fun to flick it open, especially if you're fidgety like me. But one thing that I really like about the deployment is that it's super smooth. You can feel that it's super smooth. I mean, when you flick this thing open, 
it's not an assisted knife or anything like that, but it just feels smooth. You can feel the quality that went into this knife. And again, it's an affordable knife. So Artisan Cutlery is putting some of their little tricks into this affordable sub-brand. And I think it's awesome. I really like the smoothness of this knife. Now on top of the smoothness, I also like that even though a liner lock is not the strongest locking system, it's perfectly fine for an everyday carry knife like this. And it's also sturdy. You can see I'm trying to wiggle it. There's no movement whatsoever. The blade is fixed securely into position and it doesn't move around at all which again is a good sign of quality. Now the next thing I want to talk about is the carry clip. And you can see it right here. And when you have this type of a clip, it's actually called a deep carry clip. And that's a feature that I really like to see on, uh, on these, these knives that you carry around in your pocket. For me, it just kind of hides the knife a little bit better You've got less of it sticking out of your pocket, and I prefer that design over a regular clip that still will have like a little bit of the knife sticking up. Now, it's not a deal breaker for me if it doesn't have a deep carry clip, but it is something that I do like to see uh, when I can get it. Now the clip you can see here sets you up for tip carry. There's no option to switch it down for tip down carry. That doesn't bother me at all because I like both tip up and tip down carry. So to me, they're both good, but you can see here it is reversible. So if you're right-handed, you're good to go. If you're a lefty, you could swap it over to the other side and easily carry this knife around in your pocket. Now I do want to show you guys what it looks like when you put it in your pocket. So let me do that next. There you go. So like I said, it totally disappears in your pocket. And that's what I prefer when I'm carrying a knife around. To me, it just makes the knife carry a little more comfortably. And because it's a fairly compact knife, not super compact, but fairly compact, um, it's really, really easy and comfortable to carry around in your pocket all day long. All right, so the next thing we'll get to is the size. Now I already showed you it in relation to the quarter, but let's measure it out with the tape measure and let's, uh, let's see what we get. All right, so you can see there almost an overall length of almost seven inches. Blade length, three inches, maybe a little bit less. But yeah, it's a great size. Not so like I said before, not super compact, but I think it's a great size for everyday carry. And this knife does carry comfortably. I carry it all the time, and I wouldn't do that unless it was comfortable to carry around. All right, guys. So overall, I really really like this knife. I'm very glad I bought it. I love that you get D2 steel with it. Super good steel for an affordable knife. I love the look of the drop point blade. I love the way it performs. I like the stonewashed finish. I like the light blue color that mine came in. Again, it comes in a ton of different colors if something else is uh, more your style, but this one works perfectly for me. The handles are very comfortable. The liner lock is sturdy. You've got that deep carry clip to make it disappear in your pocket. And I love the smoothness of the blade being deployed. Super smooth. It feels great. Super fun to fidget with. So yeah, overall, it's an awesome knife. Like I said, I'm, I'm really happy that I bought it. If it's something that you're looking into, if you like the look of it, I think um, if you do pick one up, you'll probably be very happy with it. Now, if you do wanna pick one of these knives up, I will leave a link in the description below. It is an affiliate link and it will help out the channel if you use it. Other than that, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. See ya.